Today we are going to install a switch panel to begin running for our lights. And for a switch panel, I have a 2468 gang switch panel that I purchased on eBay. It's a splash proof marine, yada, yada, yada. Uh, switch proof. It already has uh, fuses in it and a ground wire and a hot wire. So what we're going to do is uh, install it here on the side of our panel so when you come in the door you can flick the switches and I think I'm going to install it up just like this. That way when I come in I can flip up, turn off like that. Um, so the first thing I did is uh, took a measurement off the back of the panel, made myself a little cardboard template, and then you can take a look right over here, mark an area where I'm going to have the switches, and uh, set my template up here, marked it out, put some tape around, and uh, now I'm going to drill four holes in the corner, take my jigsaw, and go ahead and cut that out and set my panel in there to make sure that it fits good. Uh, once that's up there and it fits good, I'm going to put some backer block along the back side so I can fasten into the wall and then I'll be able to start running some wiring. So that'll be my uh, task for the moment. Go ahead and get the switch panel installed and run my wiring, get it up to my distribution block and then we'll concentrate on wiring some lights. So with the four holes drilled in the corners, we'll go ahead and take a jigsaw, cut along the edge of the tape, and then uh, clean things up and make sure that our switch panel uh, fits properly. So we went ahead and uh, cut our hole out, and uh, now we'll go ahead and set the switch panel in and make sure that it fits uh, where I need it to fit. So we'll just take our switch panel, set that in place, and voila, we have a switch panel. Now we'll uh, cut some backer blocks so we uh, be able to screw fasten those in. Our wood here is only a quarter of an inch, so I want to make sure I get a good bite. So I'll probably put some half inch block in behind here, and we'll call that good. And Got ourselves a little switch panel. Okay, so I've got my backer boards installed in here. They're about uh, 3 8 wide. And uh, just two strips, top and bottom. And then I got a conglomerate of clamps holding it together as the glue dries. Then I'll be able to put my switch panel up, go ahead and pre-drill the holes and fasten those down. And that will hold everything together. In the meantime, while that's drying, now I will pull out my little lights and uh, determine where I want those to be under each of my countertops and uh, or my cabinets, excuse me, on the bottom of the cabinets. And then we can start installing those and worry about how we're going to run wiring. Oh boy, lots of fun. Okay, so we have our switch panel installed. So uh, we marked out where we we're gonna cut our hole, put tape around it so we didn't scratch the surface, took a jigsaw, went ahead and cut that out, fit this in place, decided what kind of backing that I needed, and then uh, went ahead and installed the backing, glued those down, put up our panel, drilled our holes, and put it in our gasket underneath, and fastened her in place. I think that's gonna work really cool. So on the inside, that's what it looks like. <coughs> Nobody's gonna see it, so uh, try to make it neat, but not sloppy. And uh, so we have our positive wire, and we also have our negative wire, wherever that bad boy is right there. Right there and we'll connect those we'll run our wiring around down through the trailer and around 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 we go until we get to the front to our distribution panel and we'll uh, we'll get some power set up to that 
So I think I'm going to get some connectors to uh, install on here and do it a quick and easy way. All right, stay tuned. So we're going to get ready to run the wiring for our switch panel. So we have the hot and the ground and I've got my uh, wire ties in place and another hole drilled down here to go under the cabinet in which we will shoot it straight across and then we'll go down and run it behind all my cabinetries and bench seatings and stuff so we have some wire to run and I've got about 60 feet of red and about 60 feet of black I'm not sure if I'm going to need all that but we'll get that run through the cabinets and around to the front to the distribution panel and tie that in and make sure our switches are working and then we can install some lights so that's going to be the cool part I went ahead and redid the, uh, the wiring for the solar uh, panel wiring the uh, little square stick on zip tie pads uh, a little too much tension on those so they started moving a little bit so I went ahead and took those off and and uh, redid that so looks a little cleaner and it works okay let's run some wire okay let me show you the mess I got here so from our switch panel we have our ground and we also have our positive and we run a set of wires all the way around through all the cabinets, under the benches, around the back, under that bench, through the through the kitchen cabinet, come out here at the bottom, run all the way around, come out the front, and then we uh, go under our wire looms here. And we have positive into our terminal, negative on the negative bus. And we threw the switch on. And then we come over to our switch panel and see if we have power. Boom. So we have power going to these four switches. Next is run one more hot wire for this side. We'll get that going around and tie it into a <coughs> different breaker right here. And then we'll have, a, we'll have power going to our switch box. And then at that point, we can install lights and run them right into the back of our switch panel right here on the bottom. So the hot wire goes here. All the ground will tie in back over to the bus bar on that side. So everything's hooked up right. We have power coming in and going out. Next is to next is to clean up my mess. We got quite a mess going here. And then we'll run another set of wire, get a couple more connectors, and start working on our lights. Okay, so I think I have it this time. So we've got both sides of the switch panels <clears throat> powered up. The hot wire on this side, running all the way around, and then we have a hot wire on this side of the uh, switch block wired all the way around and we have a ground wire so that's going all the way through the trailer and around <coughs> through the uh, underneath of the cabinet and on the uh, left hand side of the trailer underneath coming out into our panel and then uh, going into our distribution block so we have the two hot wires here and we also have a ground wire on the bus and I've got 10 amp fuses in and our battery shut off switch. So when it's off, we have no power. And if we 
turn it on. And then we come up and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have lights all the way across the board. So now we have power coming into our switches and ready to install some lights. Whew. But before I do, let me go ahead and uh, clean up this mess. Um, so that finishes this task, running all those wires, getting the switch panel hooked up. So once you finish one task, clean up, put all your tools away, vacuum, get everything organized, and uh, before you start the next task. You never know when you're going to get interrupted or somebody comes over and you don't want them stepping on or crushing any anything you got sitting out or or uh, something gets misplaced real quick. So uh, before we get ready to install our lights, we're going to go ahead and do a little clean up and make sure everything's put back in its place. And then uh, we'll start our next task. Okay, so we have things cleaned up and put back in their place and uh, looking pretty good. All right. So before we begin the next task, that was uh, what I wanted to make sure and do is just go ahead and clean up and uh, be prepared to uh, start installing my lights. So with that, we have everything installed, power's running through the trailer, and we are good to go. Next is the lights, and that's going to be another video, but before I go, I do want to show you the lights, because I think they're just cool as puppies. So hang on tight, and uh, let me give you a shot of that. So the uh, lights that I'm going to use are by LED GLE. Now, I don't know if you spell that, say that in one word, LEL, but uh, these are actually pretty nice. They are three LED lights in one unit. They're made uh, billet aluminum. And these uh, sort of remind me of how a uh, piston in your car is made. If you ever looked at uh, aluminum pistons or tinkered around with hot rods, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And uh, it comes with a cord and a connector on the end of the cord. And I haven't decided whether or not I'm keeping those. But uh, these are designed to be either surface mounted or uh, concealed. And let's see if I can get that off. So that, that slides out just like so. And if you wanted a surface mount, then you would uh, cut a hole in the bottom of your cabinet or shelving or whatever. And that would snap into place and uh, be pretty much flush. That's about an eighth of an inch um, reveal right there. This ring mounts underneath your cabinet. has two areas that you put screws in and it just mounts under under your cabinets like so and then your light pops in and uh, wiring goes inside. So I have 12 of these lights and I'm going to use probably around four in the front, three under the uh, uh, under the uh, cabinet here above the counter and four in the back and I'll probably have each one on different switches so I'll have two lights in the front on a separate switch and the, the other two on another switch one on a switch two on another switch and the same in the back two on one switch and two on another and uh, that way when I come in I can hit a light and I'm not flooding out the whole place but um, that's what they are and they are bright as snot Maybe I can uh, hook one to the battery and you can take a look see how bright these things are, but uh, 
yeah, they're uh, they're pretty solid. So I've got one of my lights, and uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've got the load turned on. So when I touch the uh, terminals here, uh, we're going to be pulling a load. Boom! Whoa, that is a little bit bright. All right. So what's that's telling me? Let's see how much of a load these lights pull. We're pulling 0.3 amps per light. So uh, these are pretty good. Nice. All right, so those under the counter be like that without dropping them. That'll be pulling some serious, uh, serious light. So awesome. <clears throat> So anyway, I like those. Those are going to be installed here shortly, and I need to take some measurements and mark out where I want them under the counter. Go ahead and install my rings, and uh, shoot, we'll have lights here before too long. But that'll be another video, and uh, cool. So we're coming along, making some progress once the lights are installed. Then we'll worry about the sink and faucet and water and holding tank and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, then we'll do a little bit of trim work and then some touch-up stuff. And I think we're pretty close to being done, at least on the inside as far as uh, am I ready to go. So with that, we're going to call this video good. And thanks for hanging in there with me and watching, uh, watching the progress as we build along. And I uh, hope it's inspired some of you guys to go ahead and start your project. And uh, hey, you don't have to build it in a weekend. Just take your time and do a little bit each weekend and so. And before you know it, you'll have this thing done. So I've been working on this for about a year now. And uh, it's come a long way. So I don't dump a lot of money into it all at once. I spread it out over... <laughs> Over, over a long period of time. Probably longer than what I wanted, but hey, uh, it is what it is, right? So with that, we're going to call it a wrap. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, all those who've already subscribed, thank you very much. And uh, thanks for watching and, and enduring these, these videos. Uh, I'm not a chatterbox by any means and uh, probably not the, the greatest on video, but uh, at least you get to see some progress of something going on. So anyway, stay tuned.